Hi YouTube, it's Ross. Just been watching the news. Um, BBC News. I don't usually watch BBC News. I usually watch Russia Today. But anyway, I was watching the BBC News because my dad was watching it downstairs. Um, and I said something, and it kind of, I it just kind of occurred to me. Sort of this the thought process I went through, and I realised it wasn't quite how they were explaining it properly. Um, sorry, my hair's gone all funny. Um, they're talking about the security for the Olympics, and what they're saying is they're going to use the army. They were going to use the army originally, but now they're going to use twice as many um, personnel as there is in Afghanistan. And then they were talking about they're going to have um, anti mine watches up the River Thames to make sure that no one's laying mines. Um, they're going to have anti aircraft guns. There's going to be Euro fighter fighters and typhoons patrolling the sky. I mean, and it's got me thinking. They were saying that the main threat, that the, the practically the only threat to the Olympics. This about a week ago, they're saying the only threat to the Olympics was or is Al Qaeda. Now, if it's Al Qaeda, why have they got Euro why do they want Eurofighters um, and typhoons patrolling the sky and anti aircraft missiles? The only because Al Qaeda don't have that kind of. Um, that kind of weaponry to deploy so that got me thinking well it must be a country and then I started thinking more about Iran so what I think is going on correct me if I'm wrong but I think that they think that Iran are going to attack London in the 2012 Olympics and that's why they've got all this stuff because if they're defending against Al Qaeda which is main which would be mainly um suicide bombers and um like bombs in vehicles why would they have Euro fighters? I mean I can understand they like they could like blow up the building. Well, wouldn't a tank do that job more effectively and with it with less damage to sort of the surrounding area and then anti aircraft missiles that still doesn't make any sense. So unless they're like worried about like a rocket attack but even then, still not really Al Qaeda. Anyway, that's just sort of what I've been thinking about. All a bit confusing. Correct me if I'm wrong. And if you've got any ideas, please um, feel free to share them in the comments box below. Um, that's about it. Um, have a nice rest of your day. See you later. Bye.